Okay, let's push on. We're carrying the heavy rucksack. While we're carrying the heavy rucksack, every card in our hand will lose one circle and one triangle. So sprinkling tarn now is only worth one triangle. Sail fell is only worth one circle, two triangles. Okay, so some cards could potentially be worth nothing, you see. As it goes, we're going to push on uh, to Doddwood. Um, what I need to get here is triangle and circle. Remember, my walking stick gives me an extra circle. So triangle and circle. I don't really want to use South Fell because I want to use that when I get over there. Let's use... Well, I guess it's going to be Greyhoe Wood, isn't it? This is where you've got to think what cards are most useful to you. Let's use Sprinkling Tarn. It's only going to give me one triangle plus one circle from the walking stick. So it's only going to get me this far. That's not very helpful. You'll notice there's some circles that are just plain and some are like blue with a red border. These are beauty spots. If you land here, if you finish your turn here, they're a beauty spot, you get a bonus point. So we're not really doing much with that now. Let's, let's just use this one. Okay, it's a bit of a waste. It gives me two circles and two triangles. Remember, I lose these for the rucksack. So I'll use the first triangle here, and then two circles, circle, circle. So I'm wasting a circle and a triangle as it goes. But I'm going to finish here at Dogwood because I want the points. What's this? Three points. And this is a refreshment spot. So I could buy some chocolate here as well. But I am carrying chocolate already, so... The thing is, you can't carry more than two pieces of chocolate, two bars of chocolate. If you do, it'll get all sticky in your pocket and melt. So <laughs> we're not gonna, we're not gonna buy it just yet. Not okay. That's pretty good. Yep, I like that card. I like that card. All right, let's move the time marker up one. Still carrying that backpack. We chalk up our three points. One, two, three. Let's see if we can make it all the way to Castle Inn. I need one, two, three circles plus my walking stick, so four circles, but I'm losing my remember. So that would give me four. If I lose one, two. Yeah, let's use the knots. So remember, two circles because of the backpack plus one because of the walking stick. That's going to get me here. So not quite to Castle Inn. But it does take me to this beauty spot. It gives me a point. Draw a card. Then Cathra. Now we move the time marker and we get a little bit of relief from the backpack for three turns. All right, we're back on track. To get to, say, Sail Fell from here, we'll need one from the walking stick. One, two, three, four, four circles, two triangles. So two circles, one triangle, doubled. So if a cell fail could do it. I might just push on. I think, definitely. Okay, let's use some chocolate. So cell fail gives me four circles. One, two, three, four. Plus one from the walking stick. And then, well, I guess the chocolate doubles that even, because it's like there was three circles on here. So six circles, six triangles, that's enough to get me here and score me to three points, plus ten for being here. And the other thing is, because we played South Fell, we get a bonus two points for fulfilling a secret desire. So that's a total of 15 points. 15 points, that's good. And that's what makes this a good little puzzle game. So 15, that takes us to 21. Very good. Just draw a card. Wipe up woods. I like it. We'll push the time marker up. So we've got a conundrum here. Do we take a detour to wipe up woods? Let's get the bonus two points. Or do we go straight down to Spout Force? Or indeed, which way do we go then? If we go this way, we through Lord's Seat, that's a nice high peak. 
I think the best route for us is back to Keswick and then take the bus and we could come down through this way we've got enough time for that detour four points, it's a good detour I kind of think it's worth it I'm thinking of using sprinkling tarn let's see sprinkling tarn I don't want to get stuck in on down on the flat without, I mean, I've got lots of uphill and downhill cards so with my, with my walking stick this is two circles, two triangles so I'm going to go triangle and then two circles up here get the two points in the prime location show this from my hand Winthrop Woods for this two secret objective so that's four points that takes me up to 25 draw a card oh change of weather well, that's a shame because rainy weather means that the prime locations and beauty spots are worth one less point. Beauty spots are only worth one point anyway, so no points for a beauty spot. It's looking pretty miserable. Our ability to score is impacted big time. Let's draw a replacement. Striding edge. Oh, that's good. That's good. We needed some circles. I like that. Let's see what we can do. We don't want to get stuck. I was thinking of possibly striding down to Thornthwaite and back up. But that would mean using this car to get there. We're going to be carrying the backpack next time, so I think I might be safer coming this way. So I think I'm going to use this card. Why stop woods? With my walking stick, so an extra circle. And then we've got three triangles, and I'm going to use it just to go this way. So I've not scored anything. But that's not too bad, a circle and a triangle. Yeah, Glamara. Glamara. And now we're back to carrying the heavy rucksack again. It's midday. I need two circles to get to Spout Force. I right, one from the walking stick. Let's use Glamara. It's tough, you see, if you get if you get way late too much. I was thinking of going up here. This is tempting. These four points are really tempting, but I'm worried about getting stuck. I need to get into this mountainous region a bit more. Oh, it's so tempting though. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go this way and take the four points. Well, it's three points because the the weather's so bad. Uh, but three points is three points, right? One, two, three. Let's draw. Robinson, I like that card. Okay, still carrying the backpack. And Robinson's good. I need three circles, so striding edge would do it. One, two, three, yeah, striding edge is going to do it. The heavy rucksack makes that two, the walking stick makes it three again. One, two, three. I get one point from the location, remember the bad weather reduces it, but ten for the can. That's eleven points. Takes me up to thirty-nine. That's two down, three to go. Then we've got Harap Tarn. Harap Tarn, that's not too far from the middle, is it? Uh, it's down here somewhere. Oh, it's right down here. Okay, it's nearly lunch. Let's see what we can do. I'm definitely going to use Robinson, am I? For three circles plus the extra one from the walking stick. That will get me to wing latter. Yep, let's do that. Yep, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's two points. Draw a card. Load off fours. I like that. Yep, yeah, I like that. Where's load of fours? That's here. Could you use it? And now we're heading into lunch. And during lunch, we don't move. There's a summary here. So we stop. We discard. We score for any location we're on. So you score again if you're at the 
lo prime location, collect a gold, and then choose a new piece of equipment. So let's see, we've got four cards, we're going to have to discard one. I think we're going to discard Lencathra. We're going to score the location we're on again, so we did the right thing, we ended on a prime location, which is worth three points, but only two because of the weather. So we get another two points, up to 43. Find another coin in our backpack, which is good, and then we lose the walking sticks. And we get to choose a new one. I like things that help us get around. So I'm going to take the Kendall Mint Cake. It's not going to help us yet, but it will do. Okay, let's push on. And if I can, I want to make it down to Braithwaite. So I need one, two, three circles and a triangle. Two circles and triangle. Hmm. Or I could go to Thornthwaite. So I could go one, two, three, four, five circles that way. One, two circle. Why do I do that? Let's go for Harptarn. Let's use it. I think I'd try and I would rather try and get in here now. I think uh, one, two. Triangle gets me nothing. It's a beauty spot. I'd normally score a point, but it's rubbish weather. Draw a card. Ah, a blister. This is just going to clog up my hand. Not helpful at all. Move the time track on. Now I want to get in here. One, two, three, four circles. Okay, load of falls. Four circles gets me here. One, two, three, four. For one point for being in port scale. I have point scale, so that's an extra two points. So that's three plus ten for the can. That's thirteen points. Happy with that. This is me up to fifty-six. Good job. Draw a card. Blee tarn. And now we're carrying the heavy backpack once more. It's 2 p.m. Now I could take the long way around. I could get the ferry across Derwent Water. So just use one, two circles, get the ferry. Or for three circles, one, two, three, and then use the bus to shoot across there. But can I, now that I'm carrying the backpack, but I've got the Kendall Mint cake, remember? So I could make the heavy rucksack takeaway triangles, not circles. Remember this says deduct just one circle or one triangle. Let's see, can I get three circles? Not with these rubbish cards. I'm stuck, aren't I? So refreshments I think. Now it loses me a turn, but I can get refreshments here at the pub. Okay, see the glass icon. It's going to cost me a coin. It loses me a turn. I can't move, but it gives me five points. So that takes me to 61. It costs me a coin. And then I can discard any number of cards and draw new ones. So this is a good way to get rid of this blister for one. And in fact, I might just get rid of these two as well because I want some more circles. So let's draw three cards. Uh, high rig, Lord Seat, and a change of the weather. I like that. Spout Force. Okay, that's better. So now it's sunny. Move the time marker on. Excellent. And now let's get back to... Well, how much time? I haven't got a great deal of time left. So let's head back to Keswick if we can. It costs three circles, remember? I am carrying the backpack, aren't I? Yep, that's fine. So I lose a triangle because of my Kendall Mint Cake. And we'll use High Rig. Or do I want to use High Rig over here? Oh, that's tempting. Going in here, heading up to High Rig, which is worth five points now. Have I got enough time to do that? I might even have time to... See, if I run over, if I walk over here, don't take the bus. 
Could I even get down to this one by getting the number 79? Going up here, walking back. Don't want to go for the big, big score. And I could even stay here and get five more points with refreshments. But I don't want to use my pound. I'm, that's important to me. No, let's, um, let's stick to the plan. Hi, Rig. Take me to here. You don't get any points for being here. Time moves up one. Of course, I draw a card as well. Win latter. Ugh, that's not so good. Now I'm going to pay a pound and get the bus. I'm going to take it up here. And I could go to Sea Toller. It's worth a few extra points, and I might get another location on the way. It's a risk. Is it a risk worth taking? I think it is. I'm going to get the bus up here. Um, we have to discard and redraw. So also a good time to get rid of a blister is when you ride the bus or the ferry, because you discard a card and draw a card. Maiden more, I like it. You also get three points for riding the bus. You get five for using the ferry, because taking the bus and using the ferry are good fun. That's a bonus. Three points, one, two, three. And I get to put my stone here. Let's see taller. Get two points. We're doing all right. 66. And now it's T. Okay, so maybe that Kendall Min cake wasn't quite the right choice after all. But it's tea time. We stop here. We discard a card. Let me discard this one. Lord's Seat. We score where we are again. So another two points. And we collect a pound. And we choose a new equipment. To 68. So we're getting close to that. 70 to 180 would be much better. Let's see what we're going to grab. Secret Desires, Compass. I think we're going to take the Compass. That's our final item. Let's move our clock up. We're getting close to the end. Let's see if we can make a mad dash down to Green Gable. One, two, three circles. Maybe this was a bad idea. One, two, three, three circles. Uh, or do we go this way? Yeah, let's go this way. Let's go to Brandreth. Three circles. One, two, three, plus three triangles. One, two is all we need. That will give us three points. And then after placing stone on a triangle, we draw two cards instead of one. And we discard one. Hmm. What do we need? We need a circle and two triangles to get here. I'm taking high seats. Okay. Time goes up one. We play high seat. Two circles, two triangles. That gets us down here. It scores us four points. That's the 10 for the location, that's 14. 82 points. Looking good. We draw two cards instead of one. And we've got to race back to that bus stop. That's all we need to do now. Is there another bus stop anywhere? No. It's got to be Milbeck. Okay, now we're carrying the rucksack. And we're going to start losing points here. Let's see what we can do. Mealback's going to give us three circles and a triangle. Wow, this is tough, isn't it? I think we're going to have to use Mealback. That's all we can do. And that's just going to get us... It's only going to get us as far as here. Yeah, we've got to go this way. Ugh. Oh, powder stone, I like. Okay, compass doesn't help us unless we're placing. Powder stone will get me as far as here, this beauty spot, or I can stop it south. Wait. I think I'm going to go one further. 
get the point for the beauty spot and draw a card. Grisdale Pike, that'll help us, that might do it. Turn goes up one, I think. Oh, we just missed out on the bonus. If you end if you end the the game carrying the heavy rucksack, you get a bonus five points. Ah, oh, we should have gone that way. Because now we're gonna use Grisdale Pike with four circles. One, two. One, two, three, four. Actually, I'm going to go here. One, two, three, four. Place the stone, grab two points. Draw a card. There's a blister. And time marker goes up. I lose the backpack. And I'm going to lose minus. Yeah, I'm going to lose two points for finishing here. And I don't get the bonus for carrying the backpack. But that's okay, because all I'm going to do now is spend my pound, get the bus, which is going to give me three points. I'm ending the game here, which is minus two points, so that's three points for taking the bus, minus two, that's one more point. And I've finished with 86 points, and no blister, because I can discard. <laughs> and that's it, I've finished with 86 points. According to the rule book, I stride where others merely walk. That's backpacks and blisters. I really like it. I love it. This is this is what British gaming is all about. This is what makes Ragnar Brothers stand out from the crowd. Great ideas with great mechanics and stylishly executed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.